Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the combined footing. As we know that the function of the footing is to act as a support supporting agent for the foundation, and it protects the structure from settling down. So it's a very important structure components. The footing is a very important structure components to take the load and to transfer into the soil without any settlement. So there are different types of the footing like the one is the combined footing, the others are the split footing, the strip footing, the wall footing, the rough footing and so on. But here in this lecture we will only be uh, going to discuss the combined footing. So combined footing is uh, can be defined as combined footing is basically a combination. It is a combination of various footings used to get a uh, uniform root distribution over the entire area of the footing. So I will try to explain this definition with the help of this figure. You can see here that this is one column and this is another column and this footing at uh, this column footing and this column footing has been together. Why? We want to transfer the load. We want to transfer the uniform load into the into the entire area of the footing. So that's why we combine the uh, footing together. You see here this column footing is being shared with this column footing without any restriction. So this type of the footing is known as the combined footing. And there are some reasons that why we provide this uh, combined footing. I will explain the reason that when we have to provide the combined footing. So the, the definition of the combined footing is very clear that it is the combination of the different footings. Like you can see here, the one column footing is being shared with another column footing. You see here that there is no a such a space between their footings but this this column and this column have the same footing this same footing has been shared by uh, by these two columns so this is called the combined footing now there are some reasons that when we have to provide the combined footing So the reasons for the combined footing uh, are, there are three main reasons. The first one is when two columns are close enough to each other. It means that if the space between the columns is very less, so you have to combine the footings of this column with this column so to get the combined footing. So the first reason was to when two columns are close enough, so we have to provide the combined footing. The second reason is when the load bearing capacity of the soil is low. When the load bearing capacity is let's consider this is soil below the footing and when the load bearing capacity of this soil is very low we have to combine the footing of the columns to increase the stiffness of the footing so it can take the load and can transfer the, to the, the load to the soil so this is the second reason that to, when to provide the combined footing when our load bearing capacity of the soil is low we must have to provide the combined footing to increase the stiffness of the footing the third reason is uh, the important one is when one column is close enough to the property line, the center of the gravity of column will not coincide with the footing. It means that let's consider that this is the property of another building. And the footing of this column is restricted because of this property. Let's suppose I will explain this. Like this is a column footing here and this is the column footing here so due to the restriction of the due to the restriction of the footing we you, you can see here that this area is smaller than the, this area so there is no center of gravity for this footing the load will act and it will not be distributed uniformly to the to, to the below soil so what we do we combine the footing so that there is a uniform distribution of the load now I want to explain the some of the subtypes of the combined footing. The combined footing has three main subtypes. Uh, the first one is the rectangular combined footing. Rectangular combined footing. The second one is the trapezoidal combined footing. 
and the last one is the T-shaped T-shaped combined footing. So depending upon the shapes, we have different types of the combined footing. There are three subtypes of the combined footing. So the rectangular combined footing. To draw the shape of this type of the footing, first I will draw the elevation view. See here. And in plan, it will look like rectangular. With the one column here, this one, and this column shows the position of this one. And this is called the rectangular combined footing because the footings are combined in a rectangular shape. You see here, this is the rectangular. The outside surface is looks like a rectangular. That's why it's called the rectangular combined footing. The second top is the trapezoidal combined footing. So if I draw the elevation view, it looks like this. And in plan view, it will look like a trapezoid. You can see here there's one column and there's another column and this is the plan view similar this is also the plan view so you can see here that this shape is looks like now uh, a trapezoid that's why it's called is the trapezoid combined footing the footing is combined here as well but in this case it looks not like a rectangular but looks like a trapezoid the third one is the t-shaped combined footing in this case the footing the footing looks like a T-shape. How? Like in this case, there's one column and there is another column. So you can see here, the shape of the combined footing looks like a T. Looks like a T. That's why it's called the T-shape combined footing. But the main purpose of the combined footing is to transfer the uniform load distribution into the under the entire area of the footing. This is the main purpose. That's why we provide the combined footing. And there are three different types of the footing, combined footing depending on the shape of the footing. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.